If you're a new Chromebook user, then this video is for you. Here are 10 essential tips to help you get the most out of your new device. Number one, master Chromebook shortcuts. Chromebooks have some really handy shortcuts that can speed up everyday tasks. To see a full list, just press and hold Control and Search and then tap the S key. You'll find shortcuts like Control Show Windows, which is used for taking a quick screenshot, Control N to instantly open a new browser window, and Control T for opening a new tab in your current window. And my favorite, Control Shift T restores a recently closed tab. Learning a few of these can really boost your productivity. Number two is quick access to settings. Now you'll often need to adjust and tweak settings on your Chromebook to get it just right. You can do this through the quick settings panel. Click on the area in the bottom right corner of your screen where you see the clock. A small panel will pop up and from here you can adjust things like Wi-Fi, volume and brightness. For the full settings menu, just click the gear icon. Once in settings, use the search bar at the top to quickly find the specific options, like searching for a display for instance. Just type in what you're looking for. Number three is using caps lock. So unlike traditional keyboards, Chrome devices don't have a caps lock key. To use this, you'll need to use a special keyboard shortcut, Alt and Search. To turn it on, press and hold the Alt key on the left side of your keyboard and then press the Search key, the one that looks like a magnifying glass, or on some models, the Launch key. Pressing this combination again will turn caps lock off. Next, it's Explore Touchpad Gestures. Your Chromebook's touchpad does much more than just point and click. Use two fingers to scroll up and down smoothly, whether on a web page or document. And for quickly switching between your open browser tabs or different application windows, try swiping left or right on the touchpad using three fingers. It's a fast and efficient way to navigate. Number five, pin your favorite apps. So the bar at the bottom of your screen is called the shelf. And here you can pin your favorite apps, which you use most often. To pin an app, open up the launcher, then right click on the app and select pin to shelf. Number six, discover the Google Play Store. Many Chromebooks have access to the Play Store, which lets you explore Android apps, traditionally available on phones and tablets. From here, you can browse a wide catalog of apps, including games, productivity tools, and streaming services. To access it, simply open the Play Store app which you can usually find in the launcher, and then just start browsing or search for specific apps you need. Once you've found an app, simply select it and then press install to quickly install that onto your device. Some apps work better than others on Chrome devices, so for more details, check out this video, which should be popping up now on your screen. Number seven, using virtual desks. Now this is one of my favorite and most used features on my Chromebook. When I'm juggling multiple windows or browser tabs, I make use of virtual desks to keep my work organized. To create a new virtual desk, press and hold the Windows switcher key at the top of your keyboard. This is the key with a rectangle and two lines next to it. When you first press it, it shows you all of your windows you currently have open. Then from here, we can also create a new desk space. And you can have different sets of windows open for each desk and switch between them by swiping left or right on your touchpad or four fingers, or by using the Chromebook search and square bracket keys as well. Number eight, personalize your Chromebook. So you can personalize the look and feel of your Chromebook and put your own stamp on it by right clicking on your desktop and selecting set wallpaper and style. From here, you can set accent colors, you can set different wallpapers, either using Chromebook's built-in library or add your own photos or images into here as well. And you can also add your own screensaver image too. Additionally, you can also change the position of the shelf. You can have it at the bottom of your screen, left or right, whatever works best for you. Number nine, take advantage of guest mode. If someone wants to use your Chromebook and you don't want to give them access to any of your personal data, then I highly recommend making use of guest mode. When you're on the logon screen, you'll find the browse as guest option. When someone uses guest mode, that activity is temporary and it doesn't affect your personal data. It's a safe way to share your device. Tip number 10, our last tip is understanding power wash. Now, if your device is behaving unusually or you're encountering a persistent issue, performing a power wash will reset your device back to its factory settings, erasing all local data. But don't worry, anything you've saved into Google Drive will be safe. You can access a power wash by going back into settings, 
Once you're in settings, scroll down to System Preferences, and then scroll down to the bottom of the page where you can see the Power Wash option. And remember, be sure to back up any important files from your local Chromebook onto Google Drive before performing a Power Wash. So those are 10 fundamental tips to help you get started and feel comfortable using your new Chromebook. Do you have any other helpful tips? Then please do share them in the comments below. And if you found this video useful and helpful, then please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.